Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Learning Bots. In the last video, we have seen how the class-based views of Django works. In this video, we will extend that and we will see how the CRUD or create, retrieve, update and delete views work in Django. Let me quickly show you an example. If we go to our page, if we go to sixth class, if we go to a subject, now when I say create, retrieve, update or delete, I mean to say that we can create a lesson, we can update a lesson, we can delete a lesson or we can retrieve a lesson. For our purpose, we will be only saying create, update and delete. So if we are on the chapter page, we can see there are different chapters and if we are logged in as teacher or admin, we can see one option here, add new lesson which will redirect us to adding a new lesson if we go back into a chapter here we can see update and delete in a lesson so we will see how we can create these functionalities so this is our agenda for today let's get started so on our web page this is the home page if we go to standards if we go to into a class and if we go into any subject here we can see we have chapters now we need to create one button here that will redirect us to creating a lesson or a chapter. Let's see how we can do it. I am into curriculum views.py. Let me import some more view. Let me import create view, update view and delete view. We need to create a class with the create view function and we can create that class using this line of code. We are providing a form class that will be lesson form. We don't have this file yet, I will create in a moment. We are providing a model of subject and I am calling my context object as subject and I am giving a template name that is lesson create.html. Let's quickly create our form. Let's create form.py and create our form. So forms.py and under here we will create our form. I will create my form using this line of code. It is quite straightforward and easy. I am importing forms from Django. I am importing my lesson model from models. I am using class and inheriting from forms.model form to create my lesson form. I will call meta class and I will provide a lesson. And in place of fields, I want all fields to be shown. And under this HTML file, let me paste some basic code. I will extend base.html and I will provide a block of content. Under here, I will provide my form. We don't need class and action. We only need the met method of post. Here, we can use Django insert tags like this and we can directly insert our form as form not as underscore p. It will insert our form in our application or HTML file. But in Django, we also need to provide CSRF token so that the form is rendered properly and we are able to access it. We have provided CSRF token and we are calling the form as form because in our views.py we have given the form class as lesson and it is inbuilt property of create view that form class will be considered as form in our HTML file. This is sufficient for us. Let us give an input of submit. Let's give a value of submit also. Once we are done with HTML file, let's quickly update the urls.py. If we go to urls.py, we already have some path and adding on to lesson create. I would like to point out one thing here that we will again need standard and subject here because in a particular subject and in particular standard, we need to create a lesson or a chapter. And for that, I am using this path. I am providing standard. I am providing a string or slug of the subject and create. I am calling lesson create view as view and I am giving a name of lesson create. Now let's go to our HTML page where all the chapters are visible so that we can add one button there to add a lesson. If we go to lesson list view, this is where all our lessons are listed. After the for loop, let me add one anchor tag here. I will call it create lesson. And the link I will give here is this. We are providing a URL to lesson create. We are providing standard. 
and the subject so this is how our page was looking earlier if i refresh this i can see here one anchor tag with create lesson if i click on it if we click on this we are getting one error for not for page not found and it is saying no lesson found matching the query and the request url it has is curriculum 6 class math and create what is happening is if we go back to urls.py we have given standard subject and create but before that it is looking for path from the starting and here it is giving us lesson detail in that standard subject and a string is there or a slug so first it is looking for this path it is not matching with this so it is raising one error if we move this above the lesson detail let's see how it works now if we go back if we recheck if it is working or not let's click on create lesson and there it is this is create view giving us the form to create a new lesson but if we observe here we don't need all of the fields i don't need standard because i am already in a standard i don't need created by because i am the one creating it i don't want a subject i don't want slug to be appearing here and we also want the django to add them automatically for that let me go back to forms.py in place of all i will want some fields to be visible for that i will add only the fields which i will need if we go back and check how it is looking if we refresh okay so these are all the fields we need the method post will raise an error because some fields are not here and we need to fill all the forms for that let's go back to views.py and manipulate our form valid function so here it is our create view let me define one function form underscore valid which will take self form arguments and keyword arguments I will use this code to manipulate my data. Before that, basically form valid is inbuilt function of the class create view. How create view is handling all the post get form valid success URL methods is they are inbuilt into the view and we can directly bypass them by giving all these values. But if we rewrite or overwrite our form valid get post methods we can manipulate them easily the create view will handle post method for me and i will just manipulate form valid if the form is valid i will call on the object and this object will be an object of subject model we have our form here i will save this but i will put commit is equal to false because we don't want our data to be saved yet because we have some values to be added so we remove some fields we will add them here on created by i will use self dot request dot user so it will provide the username of the current user that is accessing the website i will provide the standard as the self dot object dot standard because in our subject model we have a foreign key relationship with the standard so i will call object of this model and i will call the standard and we will add subject as self dot object which is an object of this subject now as i have all the information i can save my form after saving i will return the response redirect with get success url and this get success url will provide us a link or redirect to wherever we want the user to redirect after creating the lesson so let me quickly define get success url i will use this code to define our get success url here again i am calling an object of this model and i am initiating standard from object related to standard here i am using reverse lazy reverse lazy will not be functional and unless and until it is called upon so i am sending the user to lesson list and our lesson list will accept the parameter standard and the subject name so we are providing standard and slug it's a lot to take in at a time but once we get a hang of it it will be easy for us we can import this reverse lazy from django urls 
let's see if we can create a lesson so here we already have three chapters let me create a fourth chapter let me give an id anything let's call it differentiation chapter number four and let's leave them as it is if i click on submit so we are getting a error here cannot assign so and so anonymous user looks like we need to log in if we go back if we log in let's use admin to log in now let's try to add one lesson i have all the information now let's submit this http response redirect is not defined looks like we did not import this if we go back to our views.py and import we can import this from django.http let's try to refresh this again it says lesson with this lesson id already exists since we refresh this it is asking for again but if we go to standards and check for our lesson we can see our lesson is created this is how we can create a lesson using create view let's see how update and delete work i will add update and delete inside the chapter so that it will be easy to navigate let's go to our views.py we have already imported update and delete view let's use them update view is quite simple i can use this simple lines inheriting from update view i will give fields which i want to show i will provide a lesson template name and context object name let's create a html file for our lesson update i will call it lesson update.html inside this just like our lesson create i will use a simple code like this it is basically same so i am providing one csrf token i am providing form as p and i am providing one input now along with input i want to provide one more button to cancel the update for that i will use a anchor tag and let me explain to you how it will work so if we want to cancel our update we will send the user back to lesson detail and for that we have to give standard subject and the lesson to get the details of this particular lesson i prefer to use anchor tags because we can always make it behave like a button by giving simple bootstrap classes in our lesson detail let's create one anchor tag here i'm providing a an anchor tag here that will take our user to lesson update page for that i am sending the user to curriculum lesson update that we will be calling our path i'm providing a standard a subject and a lesson as we will need all of these three to update our lesson let's go to urls.py and create a path for it so our path will look something like this so it will have standard subject lesson and update since it is not matching with any of other path i am keeping it on the last let's see how it is working in our browser if we refresh this we can see we have update lesson button here we click on this update lesson we can see we have our information already present we have our name and chapter and we can edit these files let's say we want to call this probabilities let's submit so it says no url to redirect to either provide a url or define a get absolute url method once we created or updated our lesson there is no url to redirect to there are two ways of doing this either we can provide get success url in our update view or as the error suggests we can define one method get absolute url on the model let me show you how to do this if we go to models.py here we have our lesson class under this i will define the get absolute url method using this so i am basically returning a reverse call to curriculum lesson list to send the user to list of lessons and we are providing slug and standard which means subject and standard under the specific standard under the specific subject all the lessons are listed so i am providing them as keyword argument let's import reverse quickly if we go up 
we can import from Django URLs. If we go back to our browser, if I again try to do the whole process, let me go from there. We can see that first it was probability, now it is probabilities. Let me again show you how we can update. If we update lesson, let's call it probability again. If we submit, it is redirected to our list view and the name is also changed. So this is our update view. Now let's see how the delete will work. Going back to views.py. Using this, I will create a class with inheriting delete view. I will provide a model, context object name and a template. Now once we delete the complete object, there will be nothing of that object to redirect to. So I have to define one get success URL in this class. I will define the method using this. I am just calling the object of this model to get standard and subject. I am using reverse lazy again to send the user to lesson list as there will be no lesson to show in detail. I am sending keyword arguments as standard and slug. For delete view, we will not need a much complicated HTML file. We will just redirect the user to a confirmation page from where he can select to confirm the delete or not. So let me create a lesson delete.html. In our lesson delete.html, I will use the simple code extend base.html and content block. I will provide one heading. Are you sure you want to delete? We will still provide one form with CSRF token because we need to communicate between front end and back end. For input, I will provide the value of delete. Again, I will provide a anchor tag with cancel so that they can also cancel the delete. Let us quickly go to URLs and create a path for our delete view. If we go to URLs, let me create a path. I can use this. I will provide standard, subject and lesson and delete so that I want to delete this particular lesson. I will call it lesson delete calling lesson delete view. Let's go to our browser and have a look. So if we check our recently created chapter, here we can see there is still update lesson so we need to provide one delete also. If we go to lesson details.html, so under here I have provided one anchor tag for update let me provide one for delete so it is basically same to the update but only the url will be different so i will be sending slug subject and standard along with it i will be redirecting user to lesson delete let's refresh here we can say delete lesson if we click on delete it will ask us are you sure you want to delete we'll say delete it will redirect to lesson list view and we can no longer see the chapter 4 here which means we have successfully deleted.